Venezuela's political crisis has led to some diplomatic tensions, as many nations are weighing in on the Latin American country's turmoil. Our Aram has more. More than a dozen South American, African and Western nations have joined the United States in supporting opposition leader Juan Guaido as interim president. Washington is also stepping up pressure on sitting President Nicolas Maduro to step down. It is seeking to ensure Venezuelan oil revenue goes to Guaido in a bid to drain money from the government, which is already struggling under an unprecedented economic meltdown. However, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Washington would provide humanitarian aid to struggling Venezuelans. Today, I'm announcing that the United States is ready to provide more than 20 million in humanitarian assistance to the people of Venezuela. These funds are to help them cope with the severe food, so food and medicine shortages and other dire impacts of their country's political and economic crisis. Russia, one of Venezuela's closest allies in the region, condemned foreign powers for backing the opposition leader. Moscow's foreign minister warned such a move would deepen Venezuela's crisis. The fact that the United States and a number of other countries, first of all regional ones, immediately recognized the new self-proclaimed interim president only means that they have directly participated in an artificial creation of dual power in Venezuela which is fraught with chaos and a series of destabilization of domestic political situation. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov also said the U.S. move violated international law. China, Turkey and Syria, meanwhile, have all joined Russia in expressing their support for President Maduro. He also has the backing of the country's military, which has pledged its loyalty to the socialist leader. Despite this support, Maduro is still under extreme pressure to cede power as the majority of Venezuelans are calling for him to step down. Noadam Aridang News.